Welcome again, everyone. This is Culture, and it's time for more Let's Play Tecmo's Super Bowl. Uh. Huh? Oh, interesting. I think uh, I went into a long, groaning noise, and uh, the software just uh, locked it right out. Go ahead and go back into schedule. Auto skip to week seven, which we all know actually means three weeks. Week skeven, folks. Week skeven. Nothing worse than a week skeven, right? Go ahead and start the uh, seventh week, seventh month. Playing host to the Chicago Indianapolis Colts. And it is our first inclement weather game. And, uh, we all know Rich Stadium, or uh, now known uh, Ralph Wilson Stadium, is an outdoor arena. Oh, oh, in Indianapolis. Way good. That would explain why they're white. Right. I do not recall off the top of my head what rainy weather actually affects. You know, affects guys' abilities, like reception. The reception stack gets lower because all gets slippery. Anything else like that? But I guess we'll all find out together, won't we? Alright, there's a bunch of guys up there. One of you should be able to help. Nope. Alright. Words out here. Alright, well, you didn't fumble the ball. That's good. Let's go ahead and try and pass it. Out. See how that goes. Not going to go that well when everybody's so well covered. After Don BB. First down. All right, again, the after Don BB. Ah, but they did manage to throw the block up. Well, that's fair. Oh, they wised up. Also, they're triple covering him, so I guess I can't be that disappointed. I was trying to throw it away. If there was a throwaway button, I probably would have gone with it. But there's not a throwaway the pet. Throwaway the ball. Button. In. By the way, folks, uh, for those who are not aware, I'm talking about throwing away the ball. That tackle. I have dire consequences for it. Um. Uh, there is occasion, there are occasions when a uh, NFL quarterback will uh, throw the ball intentionally out of bounds. Not see it because if you throw an incomplete pass, you don't lose any yard. And as often as not, the uh, quarterback is farther behind the line of scrimmage, so it would be a loss of yard. If they were to. Got a pass block off. They're in field goal range though, so they may still get first point. And I still have yet to figure out a 
good means to attempt to block those. That's all right. This particular one was no good. So we got that going for it. Hmm. So through an interception last time, I have a pretty good capacity. Let's get Thurman Thomas uh, through his paces. Put, put, put. That didn't go as well as it could have, did it? Sure didn't. I saw the stadium is darker. The uh, the field is darker. Yeah, uh, crowd is darker. Any of the sprites that move, well, they look largely the same. First down. Blue 48. Put. Put. Not bad. First down. And yes, folks, I am alternating between. The play that goes up top, and the play that goes down below, uh, because you end up with more running room. Because they snap the ball in different places. There we go. So this rain game may be the Thurman Thomas show. That wouldn't upset me necessarily. Probably won't upset Thurman Thomas. That's good. I appreciate it anyways. All of you do. Christy. All out there. Come on, come on. Can't let this happen, guys. Actually, we're second game in a row where we've had a crazy breakaway like that. Ouch. Really? Come on. First down. on him. So, it is possible to pass well in the rain. Red 24. Red 24. Put, 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 put. Gun him down. Taking the time out. Oh, I guess because it's within the two minute warning in the second quarter. I hadn't even realized that. Quite get to him. Well done, Anthony Johnson. Oh, I'm running in a direction where I'm not actually headed toward the. Bottom button. Touch back. So now. Thurman Thomas, do you have this? You do? Good job, Thurman Thomas. Holy nuts. It really is your game, isn't it? All the rest of us are just playing it. You know what? I'll give this one to Thurman Thomas. Nope. What am I doing? 
Oh, I'm going to Andre Reed, who's open. Touchdown. I threw blindly. That should have cost me. I was not looking at that corner of the screen. Probably won't miss. Okay. Wouldn't actually be so bad if we let him run for a little while. Don't uh, give them the opportunity to run. Alright. Halftime! Hey there, halftime gal. How you doing? Halftime gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out. Dangerous weather to be flying a blimp in, guys. Come on! It is, however, the right weather. Ooh, Jim. Thirteen seven. It's not the highest scoring game in the history of football, but uh, about par for the course, right? Okay. Definitely have a lot more bridge than we ordinarily would. Again, Thurman Thomas, I'm holding things up there, averaging eleven yards a carry. Thurman Thomas, so far, our runner and best receiver. And we get the ball. That's nice. Of course, uh, speaking of nice and their fault, obviously. Trademark catchphrase is nice. Um, there is Canadian Football League. The rules are slightly different. There are only three down. You gotta get the job done faster. First down. Oh, whoops. That's a dumb idea. Bam. Whoops. Hit the wrong uh, directional button for that. Don't throw it to out of bounds, Kelly. Don't do that. That's not what we need to have happen. Need to have happen is no, oh, not quite that either. Needed two more yards. All right, we can get two yards. First me, I might be playing slightly recklessly in terms of uh, hut, hut. going for it on fourth down, but I don't really see the payoff in not going. Game, as I think JG pointed out, I'm applying like real footballish sort of tactics to. A super fast paced arcade style football game. <laughs> First down. And that doesn't make any sense. Red 24. Hut. Touchdown. Right. Well done, Thurman Thomas. You got 100 yards rushing today. And, of course, not the wisest way to go about things, but now that that's happened, of course, I'm immediately going to turn around and be like, let's see if we can get somebody to 150 yards leaving and get you really up to 300 yards. Ready, break.
Ready. Yeah. That guy must carry cash. Cash no carry. It's gonna turn out his name was not actually carry cash, and I just misread the whole thing. Probably. Didn't given me aches and pains. Alright, just throwing ball there because he got in his face. I don't know what he was doing. I like to think that's what happened. We can stop. We have a lot of guys. Knock in. Not quite. Alright, fourth quarter time. What are we gonna get? Go to Kenneth Davis and watch it just bounce off his head. Alright. Try that again, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Another nice game. This is actually going pretty well. Oh. A little too close for it to work. That's another interception. Very disappointing. I wanted to get Jim Kelly 300 yards passing today. And perhaps Andre Reed yards received. That would have been nice, right, guys? Could have had a little party for him. Face in Indianapolis. They're not coming out on top in this. You have lost face. Time to lead the NFL. And They're down 23. What are you going to do, guys? I'm going to run it down the middle. And it's going to work. More than a little insane. Round 52. Why not go for a field goal, huh, guys? Yeah. What the heck? Kick here.
do we can get out of that. Kelly almost got the first down. Guys are just not playing along with my plan to get like a billion pass yards. I, you know, I, it's my own fault I passed to center. But, um, having everybody open in the corners. That was a closer game than, uh, might have been comfortable. And certainly than, uh, the, uh, yardage numbers would figure. 231 pass yards. Still not a bad game. And Thermo Thomas didn't get exactly 100 yards because after he got that, I stopped running completely. Um,. So, still a good game. Still fine performance for our Buffalo Bills of 1991. Go ahead and uh, run out the week, and then we can take a look at some of the stats. I know that's part of this Let's Play that everyone loves and enjoys. Maybe you don't. I don't really know. We're gonna find out. Scores, scores, everywhere score. Blocking out the scenery, making me bored. Ha, ah, it's a new spin. Game. All right, let's take a look at uh, NFL leaders. Yeah, QB Bills took a hit from that on QB rating because uh, all of a sudden I got four interceptions. Like the inimpeachable breath that's interesting. One thing Brett Favre is known for, it's not throwing interception. Uh, less love now for Don Beebe because I didn't really throw to him that much that game. Thurman Thomas moving up the rushing ranks though. And uh, we had that one great punt that no one has managed to turn but Thomas comfortably in the lead of the list of NFL scorers. Don't have any interception lead. Somebody at the Kansas City Chief might be. In mean, uh, sorry, the Indianapolis Colts. Stuck one game in the past. Up there in the world's leaders in sack. They always like things. And yeah, kick returns not necessarily. But, uh, it has the best offense. I think at this point it was the LA Raiders. Could be the Oakland Raiders. I think it was the Los Angeles. But, uh, we have the best pass game. We have, by far, not the best rush game. But we are right up there. Yeah, the, uh, the Raiders. Bang up job. Little defense. Uh, interesting. The, uh, Saints have the uh, top deep in the NFL. We have the fourth best pass defense and the third best rush. 
which uh, puts us number one overall. Right. Right in both accounts. There's the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, let's take a look at the Raiders here. They're the Los Angeles. Yeah, because we don't have any other Los Angeles right now. Got the San Diego Chargers. Oh, yeah, are the Rams in Los Angeles or in St. Louis? They are also. Oh, no. I guess St. Louis is just without an NFL franchise at this point. St. Louis is a uh, interesting little city in that sense. They've had a couple of different uh, football franchises come and go here and there. Um... Also, Los Angeles has had a number of uh, NFL franchises come and go and then come back again. And at this point in time, there were, as you can see, two Los Angeles uh, football. Yeah, actually, now that I look at it, these are all abbreviated by city, other than ones where there is more than one. Other than cities where there's more than one football. You got Buffalo, Indiana, Miami, New England. Jets because New York City has more than one team. Dallas Giants because New York City has more than one team. Philly, Phoenix, Washington, Tampa Bay, Minnesota, or the Twin City. The St. Paul. Green Bay, Detroit, Chicago, Pittsburgh, Houston, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Denver, Kansas City, Los Angeles, San Diego, Seattle, Atlanta, Los Angeles. Okay, so there you go. I just said all the names of all of these things in case... Oh, again, I guess I don't... I mean, not everybody who's watching this is an American. I wouldn't necessarily know, like, American city geography. Because plenty of these cities are... I mean, I feel like good, a goodly portion of Americans would know where all these are. I wouldn't necessarily expect somebody who's not here to know, like... Tampa Bay is. It's in Florida. It's on the it's on the west coast of Florida. Um, wouldn't necessarily expect somebody to know uh, where Cleveland is in Ohio. It's Great Lakes. Uh, or Phoenix in Arizona. Heard about the desert. Anyways, what am I going on about this? I don't know either. Uh, but there you go, folks. Another week in the books. Uh, let's see who our opponent's going to be next time. Let's accidentally start the season. Saints versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. Oh, gee. That was a squeaker, folks. Put a schedule instead. Alright, we will be on the road facing Cincinnati. There you go, that was our first rain game, folks. So, uh, hopefully that was exciting. Um, so yeah, inclement weather. It happens. As far as I know, it just is sort of a pretty different graphic tile coloring. It's pretty fun, anyways. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you did, too. Until next time, this is Bobo the Vulture. This has been... Let's play Tecmo Super Bowl preseason mode. Thanks very much for watching. See all of you next time.